you saying three trillion? That's this three company's... trillion dollars no, no. worth of imports. And they don't have to pay. And if, by the, the higher the tariff, the more likely it is to have them come into the The higher country. the tariff, the more you're going to put on the value of that piece, those goods, the higher people are going Ready? to pay in shops. Ready? The higher the tariff, the more likely it is that the company will come into the United States and build a factory in the United States so it doesn't have to pay the tariff. That will, take, that will, take, that will take many, many, no, as you know, that no, will take many years. Okay. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, there's another theory is that uh, uh, the tariff, you make it so high, so horrible, so obnoxious that they'll come right away. When I do the 10%, 10% is really, first of all, 10% when you collect it is hundreds of billions of dollars. Just, the numbers talk, that you're talking all reducing our deficit. But really, so there's two ways of looking at a tariff. You can do it as a money-making instrument, or you can do it as something to get the companies. Now, if you want the companies to come in, the tariff has to be a lot higher than 10%, because 10% is not enough. A guy's, they're not going to do it for 10 but you make a 50% tariff, they're going to come in. Let me ask you a very factual question. The Federal Reserve, yeah. you say you don't want interest rates to go higher. You've gone backwards and forwards about Depends whether, on the you times. Want to keep, whether you want to keep Jerome Powell as chair of the Federal Reserve. His term as chair runs on to May 2026. Would you seek to remove, remove or demote him? Look, I think it's the greatest job in government. You show up to the office once a month, and you say, let's see, flip a coin. <laughs> and everybody talks about you like you're a god. Oh, what will he do? I mean, before, the guy used to walk into my office, he was like be begging for oh, us. He was a, he was fine. But you did, you did talk you about, know, was, you talked about removing him once. I did because uh, he was keeping the rates too high. Yeah. And I was right. And you would do that again? In fact, he actually dropped them too much when I did this. He, because I said, I was threatening to terminate him. There was a question as to whether or not you could. And there was an article in the New York Times, two half pages. One page said I can do it by lawyers. One half page said I couldn't. And that was enough for him. And he dropped the hell out of the rates. He dropped them too much. He went so, it was, he dropped them actually too much. Okay. Uh, here's the story. I think that if you're a very good president with good sense, you should be able to at least talk to him. I don't say make the decision at all, but I, I mean, I'm, I've been a very successful businessman. I've done really good, much better. Now people are understanding how good I've done because they're seeing it real, much better than the fake news wants to give me credit for. Just, just a on really the issue good, of no way, whether you would replace I think him. I have the right to say, as a very good businessman and somebody that's used a lot of uh, sense, I think I have the right to say that, you know, I think I'm... I think I'm better than he would be. I think I'm better than most people would be in that position. I think I have the right to say, I think you should go up or down a little bit. Okay, currency, very important. Yes. And if you want to go to third world, if you want to go to third world status, lose your reserve currency. We have to have that, we cannot lose it. If you go to, you'll go to third world status in this country because you take a look at the way things are running. If a country tells me, uh, sir, we like you very much, but we're going to no longer adhere to being in the reserve currency. Uh, we're not going to uh, salute the dollar anymore. I'll say, that's okay. And uh, you're going to pay a 100% tariff on everything you sell into the United States. And we love your product. I hope you sell a lot of it into the United States, but you're going to pay 100% tariff. Uh, he will then follow it up by saying, sir, it would be an honor to stay with the reserve currency. I will be, that will be like just playing, that's not even chess, that's checkers. But you don't have other, listen to this, you don't, even, you don't have other people that can talk that way.